This is question 12 from paper 2 of the 2014 National 5 Maths exam. We were asked to solve an equation 11 cos x minus 2 equals 3 and were given a range of values for x. x has to lie between 0 and 360. So let's first of all look at rearranging this equation to try and get a value for cos x. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. I'm going to get 11 cos x equals 5. And I'm going to divide both sides by 11. So I'm ending up with the cosine of x being a positive quantity, 5 elevenths. Now, this diagram which you may be familiar with, tells you which quadrants the cosine is positive in. For instance, the first quadrant angle, the cosine, the sine and the tangent, they're all, that's what the A stands for, they're all going to be positive. So certainly the cosine of a first quadrant angle, that's from 0 round to 90, uh, would be positive. Only the sine's positive, from 90 to 180. The tan of an angle from 180 to 270, only the tangent of an angle in that quadrant is positive. And here, here's a possibility. The cosine is positive again for an angle from 270 to 360 in the fourth quadrant. You can check this off from the cosine graph there's the first quadrant, second, third, fourth, 360 there. It starts off at 1 down to 0 to minus 1, back up to 0 and up to 1. Where is the cosine positive? It's above the x-axis there and there. So that's from 0 to 90 and also from 270 to 360. So cosine positive in the first and the fourth quadrants. So let's write this down. Cosine x is positive in the first and fourth quadrants. So first quadrant angle, let's work out that first. We're looking for an angle whose cosine is 5 elevenths. On this calculator, a cos, sometimes it's cos to the minus 1, but this is short for arc cos. I think of it as the angle whose cosine is. So the angle whose cosine is 5 elevenths, 5 divided by 11, and I have to close brackets in this calculator, checking that I'm in degrees, the angle whose cosine is 5 elevenths is equal to 62.96 and so on. First quadrant angle is 62.96 and so on. So x is approximately 62, 63.0. We're rounding off to one decimal place. The fourth quadrant angle is now, if we're in this quadrant, remember, we'd go all the way around to 360 and then subtract the first quadrant angle. You're looking at the graph. 63 degrees is about here. The value we're looking for is here. So there's your 63 degrees. We'd go up to 360 and come back 63 degrees. So 360 minus 63 degrees would give us the fourth quadrant angle. So fourth quadrant angle is 360 minus the 62.96 and so on. So that's basically 63 away from 360. Uh, so that would be 
300 minus another 3, which is 297. So 297.0. is the fourth quadrant angle. So there's two possibilities. So x is approximately equal to 63.0 or 297.0, uh, both to one decimal place.